Your Excellencies, the organizers, our elders. In 2013, I went to Anambra State as an official of the APC to witness the by-election for governorship. Your next guest, Peter Obi, was governor. He got me arrested and detained for 48 hours in my hotel room. Now I'm the governor of Kaduna State. And he is coming to Kaduna. In addition to the police and the SSS, I have one mechanized division Nigerian army here. If I need to arrest and detain anyone. But we are northerners. We are civilized. We don't do things like that. I would tell room to go in to have breakfast and I was blocked by three SSS uh, officials holding AK-47s and threatening me that I, uh, they have directives from Abuja to restrict me to my room. I said, uh, on what basis? I said, well, that's, that's their directive. I said, well, let me tell you that Nigeria is a democratic country. I have freedom to move. I intend to move. I intend to go anywhere I want. Good afternoon, everyone. Mazes okay here. As a sequel to my video, which I released the day before yesterday, and where I clearly showed how Rufai, the governor of Kaduna State, lied, thank goodness that also in that same event, we are both leaders political leaders, quote-unquote, attended in, Abu, uh, in Kaduna. Pitobi, the man in question, has replied, Erufai. In that video, however, I did not highlight the fact that, that the election of 2013 also had Pitobi's movement restricted. If we go back to the archive of... Um, Vanguard newspaper that reported this event November that year. If you go back and you will see that you can see on the screen now, on this date, Pitobi, a sitting governor in his own state, his movement was also restricted because his movement was to only be in his own area of voting. We must, as a people, develop to the point where elections are done the way they do it everywhere. People go to work on election day in everywhere across the globe, be it America, be it UK, be it Germany, people go to work. But they will then go and vote because voting doesn't take you more than three minutes to do. You're working, your name is cross-checked, you go and vote. That's where we should be headed to. Having said that, I like the fact that Pitobi has responded to the gibberish and the lie and the garbage that Erufai spewed. Note again, this is not the first time that Erufai had said this. He has said it before. He has said that Pitobi gave Northerners ID cards. Now, people, think about this. If anyone was given ID card. Does it mean that when Pitobi sees being the governor of Anambra State, that he went around in all the northerners in Anambra and collected back their ID cards? If there is anybody in Anambra State who has an ID card issued by Pitobi because he or she is a northerner, you're free to bring it out. But you're not going to see one because none exist. This narrative of pushing for ethnic hatred must stop. If Nigeria, if anything happens to the people of Nigeria today, many people would have no place to go. It is indeed sad that leaders would consciously and knowingly lie. If a man who in 2013 told a um, 360 TV at that point that this incident happened because of order from the above. Now, because election is here, he is now beginning to sing a different song. 
we must help our nation. We must help to set record straight. Again, I am happy that Peter be found time to debunk this lie. Shame on you, Erofi. You could do better than what you've done. And I believe and I hope this is the last time you do this thing. When I was coming in here, when Peace I came in here now, somebody told me, he said, Peter, your brother, my brother, the governor of Canada State, said that he came to my state and I detained him. Let me tell you, let me tell you, it's good when you answer, when these things happen, you clarify them. Number one, in my eight years of being governor, in my eight years of being governor, only in the first three months did I have a commissioner that is not from the north. I want to talk, only in my first three months did I have a commissioner that is, that is not from that is not from the north. Commissioner of police. Only three months. And that's because I met the person. At the time the governor said this, it was during the election. The police commissioner then, the police commissioner that was there then was from Adamawa. It says, what is his name again? Gwari. CP Gwari from Adamawa. The AIG. The AIG that provides the election was Nasarawa. CP Nasarawa from the north. The DIG that came for that election was from Kanu. Tell me my power that was in Africa. Government was BDP and then BC. Tell me how a Puka person will issue order for somebody to be detained. Even me was detained in my local government. And I was looking for. But however, all of us I committed is that when they asked me, I said, that's how they treat everybody that I wouldn't be in Kaduna on day of election. That was the only thing. And it took it up. There's no way. I'm not a, I cannot do that. Co-chairman, I never asked anybody to carry ID. As governor, as governor, and I'm trusted. I have the best ADC in Nigeria, the best policeman. My 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 ADC, Muhammad, is from Kanu. He's the best policeman till today that I've ever met. He's from Kanu. Where who will I give the order? Will governor go and give order on himself? So how will I tell Mohammed who lives in my house every day, I close to his family, I get up and say, Mohammed, I want to deal with your people. And he will say that. Call my agency today, I'll give you his phone number. He's the best policeman, he's still a policeman, he's CSP now. And he will tell you. So when people there, Peter B is black. 2019, I was vice president. No, I, I was good man. Now I want to be president. I become bad man. I did not do anything wrong. I want to change Nigeria.